right. I like the sound of that, Darren. Well, while the rains might have stopped for... Sorry, I was trying to get coffee, and I forgot that we, this wasn't a long weather. I'm here. Live Don't worry. Live TV, folks. All right, take it away. I'm going to let you do it. All right, well, the, well, the <laughs> rains might have stopped for the moment in the Midwest. Forecasters warn it's only a sign of what is to come this spring. That's right. An update on the recovery efforts coming up in a live report. Now I'm getting now coffee. Now you can get your coffee. been extremely active and in public in downtown so Ashley Lincoln News 4. Thanks for saying up. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> We're not quite at the end yet. We got one more to go. Well, it was a homecoming that was never expected. <laughs> and bridges are crumbling, only making water rescues even more dangerous. And on top of the hill, Essentia Health will soon be the new tenant inside the Miller Hill Mall. Are getting a chance to play today. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> everybody's playing. A little bit of that cloud coverage moving in. That's going to keep those temperatures from dropping too far. Hi, it's me. <laughs> it appears that a 21-year-old Baltimore man, known by the alias Doodoo Butt, was arrested. No word on how he got that alias. One of the hottest teams in the NFL. That's going to be it for sports. More news after this. In South Middleton Township, Priscilla Liguori, ABC 27 News. Funny TV magic there. I'm in two outfits one day. Now, within the last half hour, we have put this little cup out here. Oop, I just dropped the cup. Well, we had a cup out here. It looks so beautiful it when it slick. opens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but so it is freezing. Should be a point. It looks like, hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for joining us. I'm Darren <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'm Morgan Berger. Let's go ahead and head straight up. <laughs> I just don't even know. Joel, Joel, let's go to Joel. I'm going home. All right. Pretty cool. We'll ad lib about. <laughs> this is where we ad lib. So the. Uh... The idea is that we're going to be uh, talking about our, our stat. You might have noticed that. <laughs> that's right, Carrie and Jason. We're going to talk now about the set. So that's what we're going to be seeing, a mix of sun and clouds. But we're, we, 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 wow, I'll get it out officially. It's Friday. We will be seeing a mix of sun and clouds this afternoon. I had temperatures reaching the middle and upper 40s. That was a struggle. It's Friday, people. We're almost there. Green Bay Police release what they say caused the multi-vehicle crash on the Leo Frigo, Leo Frigo Bridge. I'm kind of talking like it's Friday already. <laughs> That's because <laughs> your mouth is frozen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is it now? You said zero. And it's going to be really cold, but we're going to see the sun. What other news you got for us today? It gets better at some point. <laughs> oh, are those, so cute. What is that above your shoulder? Look. UFO. It's moving. <laughs> Get, <laughs> yes. So perfectly timed. I Wait a minute. It. It's still moving. <laughs> Probably a plane, my car. <laughs> uh -huh. Prove it. You just All swallowed right. it. <laughs> and joining me this morning is one of the board members. We had uh, Glenn here, uh, but apparently he decided to bail. So uh, we've got. Uh, geez, I'm told. I'm sorry. Terrible. We have. Say your name. This is terrible. This is what happens. I'm Noah Henricks. Noah Henricks. Welcome to the morning show, everybody. This is an area that was hit by the Latuna fire in 2017. So be careful when you drive through here. Look at that water that the car just whizzed through. You're not supposed to drive through a lot of standing water. Right here, there's no oh, avoiding it. But uh, definitely. That was intentional. This morning. That at makes, least for reporters. That at was intentional. Rude. That was, and, and you deserve better. You know what? But you're a champ. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, oh my God. He did it again. Poor Lord. I'm so happy. I see a cheese theme, do you? Uh, <laughs> some people were suspicious since Lunchables teased the announcement on April Fool's Day. Brunchables should be available in stores sometime next month. No. I, like, I like the name. Yeah, well, that leads me to our question of the day. What's for breakfast at your <laughs> <Yeah>. house? <laughs> <laughs> that it leads me, there's, not like, me. there's like a four second delay with this this going on over here. I love it. 
what's for breakfast at your house? Clearly not caffeine for you. No, but before we, I go, I want to do one chant. We tried it at 5 o'clock, so we're going to try it one more time just to see if I've gotten better. All right. You don't want to... Oh gosh, you don't want to go to war with the Rams. Go, go Candace, help her up. Uh, go Candace. Don't. Go to war. Got no stuff. Won't be no stuff. Oh my gosh, don't start. Oh. Candace, save her. 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 No start, no stuff, won't oh, be no stuff. Man. Olivia, Eugenio, you're canceled. That's great TV. <laughs> Parkway. There, oh, hello. Apparently the blue in my dress is turning up green. Blue. I'm literally in the roads. Let me slide out of the shot right now. Can we verify this is blue though, right? It looks blue to me too. Well then, back to traffic. BW Parkway between 32 and 197. We have potholes right now, 40 mile per hour average. This is the hottest traffic model you're gonna get today. Crash cleared BW Parkway southbound between 198 and 197. The potholes are more like craters though. It's pretty depressing out there. Big giant potholes. This is charades traffic. Use caution, maybe wanna keep it to 95 this morning. Well done, Tucker Barnes. I tried. And joining us now live from South Bend is the host of the Winter Classic, Catherine Tappen. Thanks for joining us here, Catherine. <laughs> so, Catherine, what's the atmosphere like? I mean, we all know how huge that stadium is. It's amazing. And I can't imagine what it's going to be like on this winter day seeing hockey. What are, you, what are your thoughts about what the atmosphere is going to be like? I don't think we have Catherine right now, but we do want to hear what she has to say. Some of you have probably experienced being hangry before when you're so hungry that you get a little angry. This feeling <laughs> led to a brawl in a buffet in Alabama over some crab legs. Watch this. Police say Shaquita Jenkins is one of two people arrested after assaulting an officer during the brawl at the Meteor Buffet restaurant, y'all. The officer says customers were waiting in line for more than 10 minutes for crab legs. Lost their tempers once the food came out. He says people were using service tongs like fencing swords and breaking plates. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jenkins and another person are facing misdemeanor charges. I'm not laughing. Everybody's okay. <laughs> Hi. Just, just envisioning it, that's all. Yes, the service dogs. Okay. Service dogs. Done. All right, we're going to take a deep breath. We thank you for starting your day with us. You see, we get you out the door informed and with a smile and a good time. All right. Yes, special guest weather appearance. <laughs> Gilbert's making his way to the stage. Yeah, have you ever done the weather before? I uh, oh, all the time. Oh, well, then yes. you got this. Yes. You're pro at this. So go ahead and read off some of the temperatures around the area. These oh, are the temps, oh. not wind chills, but temperatures. Uh, okay. There's, uh, <laughs> there's Galesburg. <laughs> I think that's minus six degrees. <laughs> It's this way. Oh, I'm so it looks sorry. like you're looking at the. Yeah. There you oh, go. See, okay. it's kind of backwards. Uh, okay, that's uh, <laughs> and in in Macomb, that's like uh, minus degrees, <laughs> and Bloomington minus two degrees, Peoria minus three. Uh, oh, you could be in Peru where it's minus six. <laughs> <laughs> so that when you factor in so the wind, be happy if you're not living in Peru. this is what it's actually feeling like with the wind chills. So even worse than the temperatures you just read off. Yeah. Sometimes we're feeling like I, see, 25 that below. I don't understand. So you don't, I don't under understand when they'll say, well, tomorrow it's 50 degrees, but it'll feel like zero. 
And it's like, so shouldn't that be at this zero point? Degrees? At this point, we would kill for some 50 degree weather at this point. Yes, yeah. Well, oh. that's in uh, Peoria. Yeah, yeah. In Peoria, it's like, it's five degrees. Let's go to the beach. Pretty much yeah. at this point, yeah. So we're, we're going to keep those all those wind chill Let's alerts have a going picnic. into the afternoon. Yeah, no kidding. We'll I mean, dig out from the snow and check out check out the seven day forecast next okay. week. Those are the highs <laughs> next Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, there's a Friday. That's look one at that. To, oh, Here, oh, I'll okay. move you a little bit. So okay. here's the okay. next oh, Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, I see. I see. Okay. Friday.